on-stage tools are um, tools that'll help you express the song, that'll help the communication of the song. I ask the artists all the time, do all your songs sound the same? And they always go, well, no, you know. They're different lyrically, there's different instrumentation, the way I sing it is different, this one I'm belting out, this one I'm quiet on. Um, so they don't sound the same, but then I'll say, so then why when you sing, do all your songs look the same? And there's always a silence in the room because they do. They're doing the same thing over and over again, every song, and to the audience's eye, it makes no sense because this song has got lots of energy. This one's a ballad. This one's very quiet. So what we want to do is change what we call the pressure on the audience so that an audience isn't doing this after three songs, looking down at their watch. What they're doing is at the end of the night, after three songs, they're like, oh, no, it can't be over because it went by so quickly. Well, one of the ways to do that is by making sure that uh, we use these tools properly, and we even understand what the tools are. Um, <clears throat> if you were, let's pretend for a second, let's pretend you were writing, you were running lights for somebody who's up on stage. You've got this little board at the back that controls all the lighting. If there was a song that had just tons of energy, even if you were an amateur lighting guy, you know that you should have the lights going and it should be really exciting and, and, and it should be the same thing visually um, if you were talking about on stage. But if there was a ballad and it was really quiet and it was touching, would you have all those lights going? Would it look the same as the other song? Well, the answer is obvious. No, of course not. Yet the irony is from a visual standpoint, that's what we do. I, we can watch an artist who's got a really up song and they're standing up there singing and then they do another song and they're standing up there singing and, and it looks, if you turn the sound off, it looks the same. And again, to an audience's eye, it makes no sense. And it makes no sense emotionally because it's like an action scene in a movie and a, and a conversation scene and a love scene. They're all different. And they're all, they're all staged different. They're all done in different places. And if you understand the tools to use in each song, your songs won't not just sound the same, they won't look the same. And you'll keep your audience captured and engaged.